Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drury with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. And uh, the two most common questions I get asked are, number one, does upper cervical chiropractic really work? And number two, how come I never heard of this before? So let's start off with question number one. Does upper cervical chiropractic really work? Well, I'm standing here on one, in front of one of our many walls of uh, fame, and uh, obviously, yes, we have testimonials from everyone, uh, from tiny little babies on up to elderly people, uh, from people that have come to this office uh, from as far away as Italy to China. Uh, and all over the United States. So yes, upper cervical chiropractic works. Well, how? How does upper cervical chiropractic works? Well, it's based off of the very simple law that your body was designed to take care of itself. You have everything you need within your own body to heal itself regardless of condition. So let's start with the very basic stuff that we know, right? Let's say you were to take a knife and run it across the back of your hand and cut your hand, right? What's gonna happen? Well, it takes care of itself. Right? You don't have to put anything on it. You don't have to do anything to it. You just keep it clean and your body has the ability to come in and repair the damage and heal itself. Well, your body is designed to take care of itself from head to toe. If you were to break a bone, all you have to do is just get the bones realigned back up and they mesh themselves back together and they heal the broken bone. That's how you're designed. Your body is designed to take care of itself. It doesn't need any help, but that process cannot be interfered with. And there's one place and only one place in the body that the process can be interfered with without having some sort of gross pathology and that's the upper part of the neck the upper cervical spine the top two bones where the brain stem comes through the head and then turns into spinal cord as it goes down this area this vital area sends all the messages from your brain to your heart liver lungs kidneys arms legs so if a bone gets out of line here it can interfere with that natural healing process, that innate intelligence that keeps your heart running, keeps your digestive working, it keeps your heart rate moving, it keeps your immune function strong. So if that process, any of those processes get interfered with, your body functions at less than potential, less than optimal level, and then that's when symptoms start to set in. That's when disease processes start to set in. Okay? Now, let's say your stomach all of a sudden doesn't digest food the way it's supposed to. Maybe it moves too slow. Maybe it doesn't process, bring in the proper digestive enzymes. Maybe it causes heartburn, reflux, uh, indigestion, colitis. Talking about the, maybe the colon, okay? What happens if you don't get the full messages to the colon? Well, maybe you have di uh, diarrhea or constipation, or maybe your digestion just stops altogether. Uh, maybe you have uh, Crohn's disease, okay? Now, if the message from the brain that controls that part of the body gets interfered with, then it doesn't work the way it's intended to. There's no drug deficiency that causes any health problem known to man. No drug has ever fixed any health problem known to man. Why? Because no one's ever had a drug deficiency that's called one single health problem, right? If you get a headache, do you think that headache came from a Tylenol deficiency? No, right? So we'll take a Tylenol, ever fix it? Never. It only masks it. It covers it, but the problem's still there, which eventually, if left corrected, could lead to bigger problems later, not to mention the side effects of drugs, right, of what could potentially come. So does upper cervical chiropractic work? Yes. How does it work? We maximize your potential, your natural healing potential by making sure that all the messages from your brain to your body flow to your body unimpeded. Let's take, for example, let's say you had a garden hose and you stepped on the garden hose. You don't get the full flow of water to the garden or the yard. What happens? It starts to die, right? Well, what happens if you take your foot off the garden hose and now all of a sudden you get that full flow of life? Well, if it happens early enough before it's completely dead, then things start to come back to life and things start to grow again like they're intended. Well, the same thing happens if you cut off the flow of life from the brain to any part of your body, then that part of the body starts to die, starts to deteriorate prematurely. But if you can open up the communication, you get a full flow of life and it starts to heal and it starts to live to its maximum potential. And that's all that anyone can ask for. And that's what we hope for for you. The other question is, how come I've never heard of this before? Well, for one, we don't control the media like the pharmaceutical industry. And there's less than a thousand upper cervical chiropractors in the world. So we depend on people like you uh, to help us to tell other people by maybe sharing videos like this or uh, blogs like this. Also, uh, I wrote a book called The uh, Best Kept Secret in Healthcare because this is the best kept secret in healthcare, unfortunately, and we're trying to get the secret out. So hopefully you can share with us. Get a copy of my book. We'd be happy to send you a copy of the book. All you have to do is call our office and give your address. And we'll send you a copy of my book, and I think it'll change your perspective on life, on health, 
and on how to get your, uh, how to maintain and, and optimize your potential health for the rest of your life and your families. So I hope this makes sense. Does chiropractic work? Heck yeah, it works. Please tell other people it works. Please come in to our office if you live in the Charlotte area or anywhere close enough to come in. We'd be happy to offer you free consultations just to see what the problem is. And if you have an upper cervical problem like these people did that could be affecting your health. If you do, we'll explain to you what we need to do to fix it. If you don't, hey, we'll roll that out and we'll try to find another specialist that we think can help you. So I hope this video helps you. I hope it makes a lot of sense. I hope you have a great afternoon and let's get your head on check. Let's find out what's going on at the top of your spine. See if there's something we can do for you. Hope you have a great afternoon.